So, as a gold member, you get an actual separate terminal with the first class of business class. Didn't know that. Um, basically, uh, just here, and basically get someone to load up your bags for you and take them over to the counter, and we'll go inside and check it out. Alrighty, welcome to Dubai Airport. This is a nice um, terminal, I think really improves more gold. Anyway, I'm just gonna head over to the battery fund and then go to checking. Alrighty, just heading up to the business class, checking with the cop. All, all done, uh, probably one of the easiest check-ins, um, don't really care much about the weight or anything. Um, so now just going through the smart gates, um, which I think I did before, but anyway, it's so much easier here. Um, can really tell that they've put an effort to make it more convenient for uh, the business and first class passengers. Nice and quick security process, now heading up to the lounge. Alrighty, we have to get to a train uh, to the A block, um, so just go. Uh, finished with the train and uh, now going over to the lounge. I really like the layout of DXB, it's pretty straightforward, uh, unlike Sydney Airport, which is a lot of twisting and turning. <laughs> Um, here it's much newer, it's simple, and it's um, even though it's big, it's not that difficult to understand. So many of you probably have seen the first class lounge, but I don't think many of you will see uh, will have seen the business class lounge because it's not really advertised as much as the first class lounge. Um, but anyway, uh, let's have a look at it. Hopefully next time we can try the first one. So there is currently a 20 minute delay for the flight, but anyway, um... Another perk of this lounge is you can actually board directly from the lounge to the uh, gate. So there's no need to, to the plane, you don't, you don't need to walk downstairs. some and I'll let you know. I won't actually show you the taste in the food but I'll let you know the impressions. But as you can see it's quite a you can take everything but quite a decent selection of food. It's a nice ambient space. Um, basically for sellers like prawns for schools like pomegranates and then like basically something for everyone. Um, if you like a certain cuisine they have it and uh, I'll let you know the quality. I ordered a mocktail, which is a nice touch. You can basically order anything you want. Mocktails, cocktails, um, that's a nice touch. Um, they have about 10 dollars. And uh, 
something that you can't really find in Sydney Lounge. Alrighty, so <clears throat> the food was really good, authentic. Uh, I had biryani, um, it's kind of like, like a curry thing from Singapore. Um, it's really nice, succulent and tasty. Um, price, so a lot of things to offer. Um, I think that people like, don't have any complaints. Um, I would say. Sydney was breakfast and it was still very tasty, but here's dinner time. So uh, next time we'll have to do the other way around, see breakfast here and, and then dinner uh, for Sydney. Yeah, so an update on the delay. Um, there's only a 20 minute delay so far, uh, so we should be boarding in about one hour. Just went now to check out some of the shops. Um, a lot to choose from, like last time I showed you. Alrighty, so after checking out some shops, it's already time for morning. Our morning will commence in five minutes. And we're going to check out the experience um, from the boarding room. We are boarding now. Unfortunately today it is from so unfortunately today it is from downstairs but anyway uh, let's go downstairs and Alrighty, welcome on board. It's a full flight today, um, but pushback just out of suit. Pushback was started in a few minutes. We have our uh, water, thin, perfume conditioner, toilet, same pretty much as the other one, just a little bit more cramped as it is um, towards the front. Right. 
Alright, the pavement minis are back. Ah, uh, food service is not so. Fresh with the spice. Yeah. Try this one. Similar to the lounge room, I would say. It's quite nice. Yeah, very good place. 